The word of Yahweh that came to Hoshea the son of Beri in the days of Uziah, Yotam, Ahaz, and Hizkiyahu, kings of Yehudah, and in the days of Yeroboam, the son of Yoash, king of Israel. When Yahweh began to speak by Hoshea, Yahweh said to Hoshea, um, There I find interesting how the name is mentioned twice in the very beginning of the verse. Just like I said that the names could be interpreted in two different, um, as the first and second coming of Yahweh on this earth in the flesh. Uh, there in the verse, in the second verse, he first uses the word, the word Diver, um, Yahweh, Yahweh spoke, and then it says, uh, Bayomet. Ba which is, and he said, so he uses both verbs, um, one which has to do with Dabar, Yahushua HaMashiach is the word, Hadabar, and the other one, which is Amar in Hebrew, which means to say pretty much, he said, Amar, and it has to do most of the time with punishment with saying something regarding punishment and Dabar more since Yahushua is Hadabar then obviously with mercy connection, unity uh, etc. So the, the fact that he uses both verbs in the very beginning just like he uses the name Yahweh twice shows that it has to do with the first and last both manifestations of Yahweh on this earth so in Hebrew we can well it says and when he began to speak Yahweh and I'm just saying it as the words appear so that's why it may sound weird so as he began to speak Yahweh with Hosea so we see Hosea, which is connected to Yahushua. Actually, the name Hosea was the same name that the successor of Moshe had originally. His name was Hosea when he was born. But Yahush uh, Yahweh told Moshe to add a letter to his name, Hosea. And that's when the name became Yahushua. The name of Hosea became Yahushua because all you have to, have to do is add one letter and Yahweh did that to show us in the future that Yahushua would be the name of Mashiach the one sent by Yahweh to fulfill what Moshe couldn't fulfill to bring us to the eternal land to the promise of eternity so Yahushua came and fulfilled that, so that name was uh, given through uh, Hosea, who became Yahushua, and then became known as Yoshua. So, Yahushua was the name given to him when he became the successor of Moshe and brought the people to the Promised Land to show us that the name that would bring us to salvation would be Yahushua. Yet, that Yahushua, known as Joshua, was a son of Ephraim, a son of Nun, son of Ephraim, son of Yosef, which is the other tribe that Yahweh mentions as the one through whom he would appear on earth. So Yahudah was the one that he used for the first coming. Yahushua HaMashiach came through Yahudah. The last would come through Yosef. We can see that very clear in Genesis 49. So the first and last through Yahuda and Yosef. Now, that Yahushua known as Joshua came from Ephraim. So his name represents the first coming. His genealogy represents the last, the second coming. So that is key. Because that just like that Yahushua Ben Nun, son of Nun, represents the first and last in one person one story here we are seeing how Yahweh is doing the same and he does it a lot not just here and there but 
we are seeing here how Yahweh uses his name twice at the very beginning of the verse. He uses uh, two verbs to pretty much say the same thing. He said, he spoke. But those two verbs connect with the first and last, with mercy and punishment or judgment. Because the last not only brings punishment, through judgment will give understanding. Through judgment will also give reward. And not him, but Yahweh through him. Just like Yahweh gives us salvation through Yahushua. So, um, hope all of that is clear. So that I can continue. Um, yeah, the fact that Hosea is mentioned here is connected with that Hosea who became Yahushua. So we see how Hosea in this book represents first and last. And therefore the prophecy has to do with the time of the first and the time of the last. The last generation, just like Yahweh himself says in Yeshayahu, Isaiah, that he is the first and he himself would be with the last meaning the last generation he would appear once again as he says in Isaiah so 